I'm Anil Kumar. Let me first thank all my subscribers for taking keen interest, posting excellent questions and correcting me at times. Now this question is another good one from a subscriber and I hope you all will appreciate it. It's a multiple choice question which I have changed a bit. So it may be a surprise to my sub subscriber also. Okay, now the question here is based on trigonometry, says multiple choice. Match value of sine 0 degrees plus sine 10 degrees plus sine 20 degrees plus sine 30 degrees up to sine 360 degrees is what? All this is equal to what? All this is equal to what? Choices are 1, 0, minus 1, 2. None of the above. Good. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, so we have part 2 of this. So we have this is, let's call it question number 1. And here we have question number two. I have replaced sine with cosine. The same thing, sine when replaced with cosine will give you what result, right? So take your time, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay. Now, there are many ways to look into it. What I feel is, let's look into the symmetry. So when we say, Sine 0, we're talking about this side, is it okay? 10 means, so that means 10, 20, 30, 40. I mean, let's say if 10 is this, correct? Uh, then, then it has an equivalent negative value somewhere there. Do you see that? What we know here is that all are positive. Sine is positive in coordinate 2. 10 is positive in coordinate 3. Cosine in 4. So, if we go for the values, we'll know, or rather see, that for sine, all values in this quadrant will be same with the negative sign here, so they add up and cancel. Similarly, all values in this quadrant will be same as negative of this, so they will also cancel. So here it is positive, negative, they cancel, you get zero. Here it is positive, negative, they cancel, it is zero. So overall, what you get is zero. Correct? So that's the correct answer. Now, let's look into part B or question number two. If I replace sine with cos, what happens? Let's look into it. My reasoning was actually to confuse you a bit. So some of you might have got into the trap. It is also important to note that sine zero is what? Sine zero degrees is zero, right? Sine 360 is zero. Now, so it was zero here. For this also it was zero. Now let's look into question number two. What should be the answer? think about it right so these two scenarios are a bit different okay right now in part two we have sine zero so we had I mean cosine zero so we start from here actually so this cancels with that part that means one and minus one cos zero degrees is indeed one correct and cos of 180 degrees is minus one so they they cancel do you see that However, we have an extra term here, cos 360 degrees, which will be 1, correct? <laughs> so all those values will cancel, right? This is plus, this is minus, they will cancel. As far as these values are concerned, this is plus now, that is minus, that will cancel. However, we have an extra term here, 0 will cancel with 180. But with 360, we'll have value 1. And so now the answer is 1 and not 0. Sine 360 is what? Sine 360 degrees was 0. So it didn't make a difference. Do you see that? So, so that's the variation. So the question may look very similar with a very different answer. So I'd like you to go through this and understand the concept. And let me thank my subscriber once again for this beautiful question. Thank you and
All the best.